So we're just waiting on uh, Mesta. Oh, and he does press F3, so here we go, folks. This is our uh, first chance to cover East Coast Team Deathmatch for Quake Knight, or we're going to be watching the uh, Death Strikers face off against paramedics. And Zero gets a rough start. Starts out at Pillars, has himself a shotgun. He's going to face off against Drug Bud. And I'm going to turn off the right screens here. And there we go. All right. We're going to switch views. We got about uh, 30 seconds burned away in the round. Ice Lord goes down. Actually, uh, he gets a frag himself. First quad's been picked up and taken. Excellent. Uh, okay, back away. But uh, eight, eight to seven is the current score, and uh, I'm not really seeing teams really working together. A lot of fresh spawns. Uh, looks like the, the first chance here for uh, the DS boys to. Yeah, it looks like they want to make a play for the pillars. And of course, that precious, precious armor. Mesta trying to hold it off with a teammate. Uh, Wonka goes down to Ice Lord. Ice Lord gets railed himself, and he'll get pulled down by Wonka's MG. So I guess that was a pretty early quad. Uh, and that was uh, just past the 30 second mark, so. Definitely an early uh, night for power ups. We got the paramedics trying to make a push on pillars, and Zero getting a frag. Uh, Drug Bud getting one of his own. He takes down a Wako. This is a very close game so far. And, uh... I'm gonna go ahead and take a look at the rosters. Okay, four paramedics. We got Wako, Mesta, Zero, Sawyer, and Scream. And for Death Strikers, we got Drug Bud, Nov Mode, uh, Sma Smatcher, I guess that's how you pronounce that, and Ice Lore. Pair of Rails from Wonko will give him a frag, and his team lead, Drug Bud, is going to return the favor, though, tie in the game. And he's trying to leave a rail, but he actually is not going to leave it for a teammate. It's probably going to go to an opponent, considering uh, he was getting a shot in the ass. Wonko coming out with the LG, going to pull down Drug Bud right here with a rail. And Wonko is waiting for that yellow armor spawn. Let's stick with him until that, until we know that timing. There it is. Is that about 28? And uh, wow, oh my goodness, look at this. We have a quad picked up but immediately put down. Wonko from getting a frag, two frags in two seconds. And uh, he shut down that quad. Eats a, a lot of damage from his own rocket there, but he did take down an opponent. Looks like TGM's trying to get in here. And did I see King connect to the server? Is that, is that what I saw? How you doing, buddy? Doing all right. All right. So it looks like I see. It's kind of annoying that these guys aren't uh, using clan tags. Yeah, Wonko paramedics. Looks like paramedics is split between bridge and pillars. Wonko needing a lot of health, and it looks like uh, yeah, DS is taking over pillars, which means that's going to give him the red armor. Nob is heading back and waiting for it. He's going to sit on it. And he'll be able to grab it as Wonka comes up and almost gets a pummel kill. Zero. Uh, sitting there with actually a pretty good stack. He's going to be able to pull down Smasher very easily. He got popped up in the air by that LG. And uh, we're seeing only a two frag advantage though. So right now, paramedics hanging on to red. And uh, we haven't really seen quad damage play a factor, hardly at all. And paramedics, I think it's safe to say they have taken over red. Zero's gonna go try to uh, pressure the guy at RL and push him back. And of course, with this being pro team deathmatch settings, grabbing weapons means that you've denied them being picked up for the opposing team for 30 seconds. So, controlling weapons becomes a huge factor. And Quad once again picked up and immediately put down Wonko again, making that happen. He gets the frag and uh, shuts down that Quad damage carrier. Thank you. 
Paramedics still enjoying the red armor control, but it's not really giving them a frag advantage. But I think as time moves on, uh, they might be able to turn it into that. Um, oh, nice peak rails though. It looks like DS is able to get enough uh, chip damage and peak rails to pull down whatever benefits that armor is giving the paramedics. So paramedics are going to need to heal that issue. Oh, and what a nice change of events. Looks like Death Strikers has now picked up the red armor area. Of course, Nova Mode, it will be pulled down in just two rails. He doesn't have any armor. He's peeking out and he's probably going to try to top off. And it looks like he's going to engage. Or he's looking for somebody to engage at RL. There's no one to be found for him. If we take a look, yeah, paramedics have switched. They've fallen back to LG and yellow armor. And if we hop around, we take a look. Looks like uh, Death Strikers are trying to root out the paramedics. They've moved over to bridge and are just searching for uh, someone to fight. Smasher getting uh, caught with his pants down. Message turns around with a uh, hundred health, fifty-seven, and an LG, and just doesn't even suffer a point of damage. Uh, taken down his opponent. So we're seeing. Paramedics actually falling behind here. Death Striker is able to uh, control a little bit of the map, and they've managed to work together a 10 frag lead. And it is uh, their control of red armor, although they're leaving it here as they get set up for quad. Drug Bud trying to stay away from the Hungry Hungry LG. A zero, getting a frag. Wonko pulling him down. And we're going to see uh, paramedics trying to hold on to red armor after that quad exchange. We're gonna go hunt around. We've got Ice Lore getting plasmaed by Zero, surviving with five health, and he's trying to go after Scream. But with no armor and very low health count, he can't really challenge anything here. Uh, but we are seeing DS enjoy a 10 frag lead. Impressive. Ice Lore gets another one. And he's able to hit Scream one more time. And he's waiting for him to come up with those, those stairs. Let's see if he pops. Yeah, he pokes out. Of course, Isolor is very weak here. Um, yeah, down he goes to zero's LG. You're not going to survive very long there. Uh, let's go take a look um, where these guys are positioned. We got Nova without any weapons, really wanting uh, RL. He's going to grab it, but we'll go down immediately. And it looks like paramedics are moving in on red armor. Of course, that means that DS is probably moving for quad. It looks like they're they're clearing out yellow armor. I'm gonna go see who has any bit of armor. We've got Wonko for the paramedics, and he's sitting at 82. He's dropping in, probably gonna get a frag there. Yeah, he did take out Nova Mode. Ice Lord getting a frag of his own. We've just passed eight minutes. We're almost at the halfway point in this match. So yeah, it's, it seems like uh, no one team is having dominance over the armors, and uh, it seems like we got a lot of exchange. Uh, teams seem to be floating back and forth between whatever they control. And Quad will be picked up by Wonko. He's got a bit of armor. Let's see if he can uh, turn this into a nice Quad run. He is looking for blood. He's heading out, and he's going to find Smash. He's going to be the first one to go down to that Quad. And so that's one. He's about to make it two. Nova goes down and make it three right here. Ice Lord trying to get away. Not going to happen, but uh, we will have only about three guys fragged before Drug Bud pulls down that quad damage. However, that was enough to bring Paramedics within three, catching up to DS. So even though it was a short-lived quad run, it uh, did get them a bit closer in frag count. Question is, it seems like whenever quad is not in the hands of Paramedics, DS is winning out in these uh, mono on mono duels and uh, yeah we're seeing that the frag count count up steadily now six frag lead although we just closed it into two because Wonko and the teammate are sitting here at pillars and they just got